What happens when you let the Polish lowland sheepdogs out? They will try to attack you now. They'll try to attack us? Yeah. And how serious are they? They mean it because that's their territory. They're guard dogs? Yeah, they're guard dogs. They're guarding by nature. <laughs> Nice dog. Oh, there you are. I'm part Polish, honest. Are you? No. Shh, don't tell the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's chow time, and you might be wondering whether they're finicky eaters or not. Righto, John, let's uh, see how they go with a bit of meat. <laughs> and I gather, like most of them, he'd eat anything. Yeah. Pretty much anything we eat. He eats scraps. Yeah. He eats what? <laughs> he eats scraps. Scraps. After dinner. After. So what about his manners? I mean, will he jump up on the table or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. He tries to. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So fairly boisterous. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, it's a rare breed. Have you got a rough idea how many of them there are in Australia? I can estimate oh. maybe 100. Despite the very small genetic pool of the Polish lowland, the breed has been able to maintain itself as a very sound animal right across the world. Our research has turned up nothing that's going to be detrimental to this breed, so hopefully the breeders will take stock of that and take that into future generations. So we've got a nice little medium-sized dog with no physical problems. And what about the coat? Is it a pain in the rear end? It's high maintenance. Mm. Yeah, very high work. maintenance. How much do you <clears throat> time do you spend? Um, I usually bath them and brush them, groom them each week. Every Once week. a week. Mm. And how long does it take? They, they don't need to be done every hours. week. But a few hours? Because yeah. 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 Do you mean three hours? Yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. hours once a week? At least, yeah. yeah. So probably. six hours one. You say almost no, a day's probably, work. No, probably it's, four it's hours. It's a good day's work, isn't it, both of them? So who, who takes longer to get ready, <laughs> Melanie or the dog? <laughs> Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> Try, shut up. They're just like little brothers and sisters. <laughs> okay. It's spoilt rotten. Spoilt rotten. And are they good guard dogs? Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah. So nobody comes on your property? Won't let no, no. <laughs> in the house. Wouldn't let anyone in the house. Do you think they'd bite? Um, I wouldn't like to take the risk. <laughs> How does he fit in with everybody? Fine. Yeah, he's uh, fairly protective of the, of the kids. But Rita, given it's a bit boisterous with the little ease, like you've got little Sam, even with the best of intentions, would he be inclined to knock Sam over or whatever? Uh, Sometimes yes. Taylor, uh, Sammy pulls his hair, then he starts biting at him, snaps at him. I just bite him, but, but yeah, yeah. you do have to watch him because he's very fast, you know, around right. the house. He's very strong, dog. He's very strong, yeah. yeah. Now, I notice that, that you're very responsible as a breeder in that if there's any dogs that people finish up not wanting, you take them back and look yeah. after them. Yeah, that's right. So, how many has that happened with? Oh, got about five. Five out yeah. of how many of your bread? Thirty. Okay, so almost one in six needs to be rehomed. Why do people say they're not happy with them? Because they spoil it rotten and then the dog become too overprotective, undisciplined. So a bit aggressive and, and difficult to control. Yeah, only if yeah. they don't discipline and don't control the dog. So overall, after whatever it is, four years or so, you're reasonably happy? Absolutely, yeah. So obviously they're not for everybody? No, definitely not.